Uh, today we'll show you uh, how to add an image gallery or photo gallery in Magento because in Magento there's no uh, image gallery module uh, by default so that's why we, we have created this wonderful module and uh, it works with all the Magento versions even the latest Magento 1.9 uh, and um, uh, even it's working with the older version from Magento 1.5 to Magento 1.8 and 1.9 as well so we'll show you uh, the demo first how it works you can click uh, into the right here in the store.webcall.com link and it will redirect you to the demo part okay so you can see right here there's a four gallery I can see one two three four gallery one two three four and if you will uh, put mouse on the gallery one then you can see it's in the transition mode or uh, images are changing one by one uh, so let's explore the gallery one and I just clicked on gallery one and as you can see there's a six images in the gallery one and if I will click on any of the images it will show the image in a light box and I can change it by clicking on the images or I can change it by my arrow key of the keyboard and I can go back and going to open gallery 4 and the same effect is there okay so you can say it's pretty neat and pretty clean um, And you can check the document uh, means the user guide uh, if you will click on the documentation part then it will redirect you to the documentation of the module uh, we have described it in a very descriptive way but still I'm going to show you how you can install the module in your website in your Magento store it's pretty easy but still I'm going to show you okay when you will purchase the module you will get a zip file uh, containing the app and skin folder what you need to do is you need to move the app and skin folder into the magento root into the public html of your uh, magento so it will uh, when you will what you need to do you need to just uh, drag in the app and skin folder into the public HTML. You can use FileZilla or any FTP client. Okay, and then you need to go to the Magento cache and just select the cache and then refresh it. I'm sure you will see in the administrator something like this Webcool Image Gallery. Okay, Webcool Image Gallery. So if you're not getting this or suppose that if, if if you just click on some gallery setting part and you're getting a 404 you just need to do a login and then log out many times resources are not allocated properly into the role that's why this issue came so don't worry about it just do a login and log out and it will work fine so let's say everything is fine I just clicked on the gallery setting so the gallery setting is kind of you can change the effects uh, gallery effect is there closing effect caps and so what I would suggest to you that you need just to just play with those setting and you will get the complete feel of the uh, of the settings okay and you can change the thumb cycle there's an interval and you can change almost everything it's pretty customizable module so you can see on the top of that there's a add menu add or manage uh, images so from here you can manage the images let's say I'm just going to show you let's say uh, suppose that this is the image this is the image one you can see image caption one is the title of the image this one I just want to change the image caption one let's say I just put it over here demo one 
and I just save and continue edit and I just refresh the page and I just click it on and you can see right there is the image caption demo one okay so uh, suppose that if you want to add some images or photos then you can click on add image on the top top corner and then you need to put title of the image and then there's a description description will be kind of this thing this thing will be the description this is first image this will be the description of your uh, photo and then you need to put the sort order and you can enable and disable all the images suppose that if you have uh, added all these images let's say i have added 12 images and then you need to create a gallery so the concept behind the gallery is you need to upload all the images first and then you need to assign those images into the gallery so let's say i just i'm just going to add a gallery so you can see uh, there you will see two tabs into the left hand side uh, there's a gallery image and gallery information you need to click on the gallery images first and suppose that i want to add one one two and three these three images i want to include in a new gallery so i will i will i can put something like gallery three or let's say demo images three and you can see all those images you can select the default one default thumbnail Im thumbnail image and you can enable disable it and after adding the images into the gallery and just click on save gallery then it will i'm not going to add it means i don't want to destroy the demo right now but you can add the gallery in this way okay and you can see in the grid the gallery will display here and what you need to do after that and when you will do it then what you need to do is you need to just call the block code um, you can check the block code into into the documentation of the module and I will put this block code into the uh, YouTube as well you can see right here block type is equal to image gallery slash image gallery and then there's a template suppose that you can call this, call this block code into the CMS pages and you can call this block code into the static block whenever you like means you can call this block code and your gallery will display uh, like this it's totally uh, JavaScript based uh, gallery so you don't need to install any flash kind of thing and it will work in all the browser and all the modern devices so it's pretty neat and if you're getting uh, any trouble with installation of the module or um, you, um, you're not getting it properly what you need to do you need to just you can just contact us through right here from the store you can just click on the contact us and you need to uh, you just send the information means what you are not getting properly with your order ID and our development team will look into it. thanks for watching